Stanley Young training to be an astronaut. Hi, I'm here with Katie, and today Katie's going to train me to be an astronaut. Hi, Katie. Welcome to NASA. Emily Young, she'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling, we'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. Katie, have you ever been in space? I've been in space two times. One time for 16 days, more than two weeks, and I'm originally a scientist, so we got to do 30 different science experiments, and we got to stay up in space for 16 days, which I loved. Would it be like up and down here to the highest cloud in the sky? It is even higher than that. Those clouds are probably at about 40,000 feet at the very highest, and we are actually at about 200 miles up in space. Oh my gosh, does I space know. ever end? No, and that's the cool thing about it. This is the Astronaut Training Center, and we are here to be trained. Hi, Hi Emily. Hi. This is my friend Carrie, and she is going to teach us how to be in the multi-axis trainer. What does this machine train me to do again? This is a device that helps us understand how we're going to feel if our capsule started tumbling. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. You know, Emily, I'm not going to have a job anymore if you do so well at all this training. That was fun. Hey, high five. You did great. Emily, you ready to go on to the next part of astronaut training? Don't you need to do your access training? Maybe I'm I not on. Right. Ah! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at her. Well, you know, Emily, I think it's time to go on to the next part of our training. <laughs> is this the shuttle we're gonna pretend to launch? This is it, and it's actually just like our space shuttle in terms of size, but if we were really on the launch pad, it would be pointing straight up. But before we launch, astronauts always do one thing. We launch at the beginning of our day. What's the first thing you do after you get up in the morning before you go anywhere? Brush teeth. Eat. Well, brush teeth and eat breakfast. So let's eat some space food. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! We have astronaut ice cream and we have freeze-dried strawberries. Now, I said this is our kitchen, but we don't really have an oven or a stove or anything. We have only water to rehydrate our food. Wanna try one? They look weird, but I think they taste good. Can we go launch the shadow now? Let's go. Sky moving as we're starting to go. There we go. We're going really fast at first. It's slow and then it goes faster and faster and faster. We're going 100 miles an hour now and we're going faster and faster. Roll program. And that's when we actually turn upside down so we can still see the Earth as we are launching away from the Earth. You ready, Mission Control? Okay, go ahead and flip those, Commander. Right now, we'd be pinned in our seats, just like this. Oh. But then as soon as we get up to space and the engine's cut off, ka-chunk, everything is just floating. That was cool. Do you think you're ready for the special training? Oh, yeah. Let's bring them on in. You want to feel what it's like to, to walk on the moon? This is Emily Young doing a moonwalk. This is not zero gravity, it's not totally floating in space, but on the moon we have one-sixth gravity. And so we have just a little bit of gravity, just enough that it's fun to jump, and also just enough that you always come back down. <laughs> Go! Woo! Split! I'm gonna just jump. So I think going to the moon would be pretty fun. And that's what we are getting ready to do at NASA. And we need kids like you to be ready 
And I think we did a pretty good job of that today. I think I'll come back to go to the moon with you. I would like that. Thank you so much, Katie, for training me to be an astronaut. I had so much fun. I did, too. You did a great job. Thanks for coming to visit us here at the Kennedy Space Center. And would you like to do just a little bit more of this uh, jumping on the moon? Can I? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's oh, go. Oh, yeah.